Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, teacher. Good, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, welcome, Carla. How are you? How are you, teacher? I'm fine. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, good. You look relaxed, Carla. Sorry? You look relaxed. Ah, yeah, but because I... Uh, early, I, I am oh. fine in the class. <laughs> I okay, guess. this okay. is the reason. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Okay, good. Oh yeah, did you? Um, oh no, did you? Um, uh, did you not work today, or what happened? Yes, I I finished to work at um, five p.m. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I I had two hours to oh. came to my home. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Nice. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, wondering what happened to the other students. Oh, wait a sec. Hmm. Very strange. Normally everybody connects all at once, but I don't know what happened. Okay, well, anyway, yeah, that's strange. Okay, ah, well, there's Juan Francisco. Ah, there's more. Okay. Hi, guys. How are you? Hello, Juan Francisco. Good evening, teacher. Good how are you? Evening. Good. How are you? Good Bye. evening. Good evening, Marvin. How are you? Very good, teacher. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. Okay, good. Um, all right. Welcome, Jury. How are you? Oh, it's connecting to the audio. Okay. Wow, today everybody is like slow connecting. Uh, may, maybe there's a lot of traffic. Good evening. Good evening, Jerry. How are you? Fine, thank you. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, well, guys, I don't, I don't want to delay too much. So I'm going to start the class by taking the attendance as usual. Um, Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to start our attendance um, in a moment. By the way, I wanted to remind you that tomorrow we finish our, our second um, our second, uh, what's it called, uh, week. And that means that we have to, um, we have to finish not only the homework for the second week, but also the midterm, okay? So I wanted to remind you guys that this weekend you need to finish the midterm, okay? Okay. All right, so, um, just hello, good evening. Um, yeah, so you guys need to make sure that you you complete the homework, all the five homework, the whole the five pieces of homework for this week and the the midterm. Okay, so let's begin first of all with Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Wonderful, welcome, uh, Andres. Present teacher. All right, Edgar. Edgar? Edgar? What happened to Edgar? I know he was here. Maybe he has problems. Oh, oh, wait a second. No, I, 
has he has audio problems, I guess. Okay. All right. Um, Janet. No, Janet's not here. Okay. Fabiola. Present teacher. All right. Welcome, Fabiola. How are you feeling? I better. Better? Good. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. Um, okay. Um, Haiti? Is Haiti here? No? Haiti? No? Okay. All right. Is Irene? Oh, Hello. there she is. Okay. Welcome, Haiti. Okay. Irene? Irene? No? Irene is not here? Okay. Uh, Ivan? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Ivan. Uh, Josue? Present teacher. Okay, welcome, Josue. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Francisco. Uh, or Juan Francisco, better said. Jerry? Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Carla. Present teacher. Great. Melissa. Melissa, no, she's not here. Hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, Luis. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Manuel. Thank you. Manuel. Okay, um, Marvin. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Wendy. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Werner. Present teacher. Excellent. Ayvon. Present. Okay. E are you having problems with the camera, Ivon? No, teacher. Oh, okay, perfect. There you are. Okay, good. All right, Francisco Javier. Francisco Javier, not here today? No, okay. Uh, Jenny, is Jenny? Present teacher. No, present teacher. Okay, great, thanks, gotcha. All right, so just wanna make sure that I have everybody, um, who are the people that teacher. are here. Teacher, I teacher, what do you want? Hello, Edgar. Yes, I was going to mention you. Okay, okay, great. So Edgar is here. I didn't hear Janet either. Um, Irene. Uh, Melissa. Manuel Alejandro. And Francisco Javier. So those are the people I didn't hear. No one is here, right? No. Okay. Okay. Well, guys, welcome to today's class. Um, so today uh, we're going to be, um, well, I left some homework and I hope everybody was able to complete it. Okay, so let's start first of all by looking at the PowerPoint. Okay, so this is the beginner module six, unit two, staff and schedule. And today is Thursday, June 3rd, 2021. The day is number nine and your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so let's take a look. This is, was um, the presentation that, um, that I asked you guys to do for homework. It said prepare a mini presentation about the scheduled activities uh, or sorry, about the scheduled activities four or five employees do at your workplace. So this is not about you, this is about your um, co-workers, okay? So employees at your workplace, create a timetable time table similar to the one in part three, and share the presentation with your class using the chart to help yourself, okay? So this is the homework. Um, I'm hoping everybody was able to finish, okay? So, um, 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do, just give me a second. Um, give me one second, guys. Okay. Um, hmm. I was hoping to. I was hoping I was going to be able to. Hmm. All right. So what I'm going to have to do then is the following. Um, I'm going to to make this fair for everybody, so that you guys, um, you know. So because we've done we've done the list already, uh, we did the list going down, we did the list going up, and so um, you know just have a little bit of change here. I'm going to do it randomly, okay? Um, like I've done it before in the past. Um, I'm going to be um, doing it a random order and you're, we're gonna see who is the lucky winner, okay? I swear I'm not going to change the, the order, okay? So uh, you can be sure that if I, if I say your name, it's because you really are the chosen one, okay? All right, so um, it, are there any questions before we begin? So we understand what we're going to be doing. Yes. We're going to use the adverse of frequency, right? Uh, Based right. on what yeah. our colleagues. Uh... Right. The homework was. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll put the presentation again just so that you can see it. Okay. So it says prepare a mini presentation about the schedule activities. Uh, four or five employees do at your workplace. Uh, create a timetable similar to the one on page three. Sorry, on, on, in part three, page 23. Share the presentation with your class using the chart. So um, you're going to choose like four or five people, you know, like this. And it's going to be similar to. Um, second. Okay, so it's going to be so, like you. This, this should have done be, been done for homework, right? So it shouldn't be something new. Uh, remember that we saw this yesterday, last class. Okay, so you should have something similar to this that you're going to be showing us, and you're going to be telling us about um, who is in charge for different things at different time, right? So, for example, here we have um, Kimberly. Thompson is in charge of the cashier um, in uh, during the morning shift, and uh, Cindy Lill is also in charge of the um, in charge of the cashier during the, uh, the the morning shift. And then we can say um, Jackie, they, you know, during the afternoon shift, uh, Haley Duke and Oscar um, Sagrario. Are, are in charge of uh, waiting the tables, right? Okay, so these are like, you know, common activities there during the, the work hours, okay? They're in the different shifts, okay? All right, you guys are clear of what we're doing here? Hmm. Yes or no? I hope so. <laughs> okay, let me just make sure I have everybody. So I have um, Andres, Juan Francis. Oh, hold on. Okay, um, okay so let, I have Andres, Juan Francisco, Marvin, Jury, Ana Claudia, Josue, Wendy, Ivan, Heidi, Je Jenny, Warner, Edgar, Yvonne, Carla, Luis, and Fabiola. 
Did I miss anybody? Did I not mention mm -hmm. somebody? I got everybody. No me digan que sí, eso no para no pasar. Okay. All right. So, okay. So I'm going to guess that I did do it correct. So, all right. So I'm going to be sharing here. Um, okay. So here we go. Josue. <laughs> and the lucky winner is Josue. Okay, so Josue, we are ready for you. Um, you can share your screen as well uh, to show the, the chart. Yeah. Okay. I can share my screen. Yes, you can. Absolutely. Go ahead and share. Oh, uh, is. Dice que no puedo compartir mientras alguien más está compartiendo. Ah, okay. Hold on. Give me one moment. Hmm. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to figure out how my how to stop sharing. I don't know why. Oh, okay. I got it. Yeah. Okay. So you should be able to share now. Okay. Well, that is my schedule. Um, the activities and uh, the art of, of the day. Uh, today, um, I work with uh, the security is in charge, uh, Luis Pineda. We have two uh, securities. Uh, Walter Zamora is in the off. Uh, the cleaner is, is Veronica Morales. Um, let me... Veronica Morales work to 6 a.m. at 2 p.m. And the managers uh, today works uh, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, the documental managers in the morning shift uh, was Gonzalo Valle in the operation system in uh, morning chief was uh, Leslie Fernandez uh, in the the documental manager at uh, afternoon chief is uh, Roxana Mendez. Um, and I, and Jonathan Fuentes is a traffic marshal uh, from 2 p.m. to 10 to, to 10 p.m. And in a given our jobs today will be uh, Jimmy Guillem as a documental manager and Roberto Mejia as a system operator. And that is my schedule in, in this day in my company. Okay, very good, bravo, excellent. Okay, Josue. So you gave us more than four or five um, 
uh, uh, co-workers. So you gave us like. Oh, but I, I see uh, the, the schedule. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's good. That's good. I'm just telling you that you did even more than we expected. Okay, good. Um, excellent. So, um, yeah, just remember that it's always from this time to this time, right? Not until, but to. Okay, so, um, and also um, remember that we say um, is in charge of. Okay. Is, is in charge of means that they are responsible for something. Okay, very good, okay. though. Excellent. Okay, yeah. all right. Um, so, going to. Um, Okay, once again, I'm going to share, and you will see that the next person is Anna Claudia. <laughs> yeah, but my my schedule is simple because we have the same. <laughs> Okay, let me share. It says that I cannot share. Try it again because you should be able to. Oh, okay, now I can. Um, okay. Now, do you see my screen? Yes, we do. Ah, okay. Well, uh, our schedule is the same for the whole team. We don't have separate uh, activities. Um, the general manager is Luis Chavez, and we are uh, eight uh, members, eight team members. And these are all my colleagues, Eduardo, Carlos, Hazel, Kelvin, Ever, Javier, Kevin, and me. All of us, we have the same schedule. schedule. We work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, we must send 45 emails on a daily basis. At the same time, we must reach 75 uh, customers. Uh, well, could be less than that because what we have to do is we need to make 75 outbound calls. Sometimes happens for the same company, we call uh, five, seven times during the day, we have different conversations. Uh, so also uh, we have to sell uh, every day at the end of the month, uh, our sales goal is uh, fifty-four thousand and six hundred and sixty-four dollars. Most of the time, we—I don't know if I can use surpass or overcome. Surpass. 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 Okay. Most of the time, we surpass the the goal, and the way maybe the difference is the way how we have lunch, because. In most of the time, Eduardo and Carlos, they have lunch at 12 because they are watching a soap opera. Es una novela? Soap opera? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> they are, ay, they are. Eduardo and Carlos are watching. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. ay, they are crazy. Okay. And then. And they're watching the same soap opera? Yes, they watch the same. Uh, so if they are crazy, they are my colleagues. Then uh, Hazel and me, mm, we are the opposite because we try to, most of the time, we eat lunch after 2.30 p.m. or 3 p.m. because there are some, sometimes um, situations we need to reach the customers. Uh, and they are just uh, available during certain time. So Hazel and me, most of the time, we have lunch between 2.30 or 3 p.m. Then Kelvin, Ever, Javier, and Kevin, 
they don't have like a specific launch. Uh, they don't have lunch time uh, at the same time. Sometimes they eat lunch at 11 or 12 or 1 p.m. Maybe that is the only different schedule we have. We take care not everybody have lunch at the same time because we need to have a schedule for that. That is the only difference. If the rest, we work the same hours. We work from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Managers and my colleagues. That is what we do. Okay, so there is no, there are no um, night shifts, no graveyard shifts. No, no, we don't have those because this we work for a business account, and all of the customers they work from Monday to Friday. Okay, so no weekend shifts either. No, okay. we don't have we don't have weekend shift or graveyard shift. Mm -mm. Okay, all right. Just um, take into account that with, when you say we take care that we don't have the same. Take care means that uh, you have somebody um, that is like uh, somebody that needs your help. Uh, that lets you okay. take care, right? So like a baby, for example, you take care of a baby or you take care okay. of a sick person. So in that case, it would be more like uh, we make sure we don't. Uh, okay. Make sure we make sure that um, we don't have lunch at the same time. Ah, okay, awesome. Make Thank sure. you. You're welcome. We don't make sure we make we make sure we don't have lunch at the same time. Okay, yeah, great. Exactly. Okay. Okay, I'm going to move this. You're welcome. Ay, como lo quito. At the top, it should say stop presenting or stop sharing um, or something like that. Okay. At the top of the screen. Ah, okay. Yes. Let me just stop. Here it is. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, all right. Let's uh, see the next. And our winner is Yvonne. Uh, okay, teacher. Um, I am in my in my cell phone. I try to share the the the, the image of my my schedule. If you need help with something, let me know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you see the the picture? Um. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I can see it. Hmm? Okay. Um, in our case, uh, we have the same schedule. Uh, we have a day uh, shift. Uh, we start around seven o'clock to work and we finish at four. Uh, we have uh, in, in our team uh, a trainer. Uh, the trainer is Daniel Figueroa, a mechanic. The mechanic is Harold Lima, an auditor, and the auditor is Reina Ayala, and an engineer that is Miguel Lopez. They are the innovation team in my in my department, in the process engineering department, and they are in charge about develop new projects or uh, uh, the in, in the in the plan uh, for example uh, the, the activities of the trainer I think is some repetitive 
but it's so important to catch uh, some data to make some reports graphics uh, to make sure that the project is uh, for the right way uh, the trainer have to take time uh, to the operators to the machines and for example a he has uh, the breakfast at mm, around seven seven and eight uh, o'clock in the morning um they have ha he has to make the work orders to the mechanic when when uh, uh, when a machine need to be repaired and other activity that he has to do is uh, make audits uh, to new projects because we have new projects not in one place we have projects in many um, units in the production floor and he has to make audits in all the projects in the plant and at the end of the day he has to fill uh, the report of the production of the machines the quality and all the problems that uh, he saw in the in the day uh, the mechanics uh, he has to check uh, the machines that have some problems uh, he has to fill uh, some reports too. For example, there were orders fills with the problem that he saw or he solved in the machines. Uh, he is in charge to give uh, preventing maintenance in all machines, not only when a machine is, uh, is failing. And uh, he also in the afternoon, have to give support in the machine with the new projects around the plant. Uh, the auditor uh, have to check the quality with the machine are sewing. And uh, she uh, also has to make uh, audits in all the projects uh, for, the, for the department. Uh, the engineer, uh, have uh, other activities for him. For example, uh, he have to make uh, the presentations with the results of the, of all the the projects. Uh, for example, today uh, he has a a project presentation meeting. Uh, the he he has to press uh, to do the presentation with the manager plan and the office manager and the process uh, uh, manager. Uh, then after that, he has <laughs> a meeting because uh, uh, he has to review uh, the innovation ideas in the plan with the plan managers too, because he has to explain all the ideas and the uh, um, plan manager have to say who, which ideas are okay and which ideas uh, are not okay to, um, to develop in, in, the, in the plan. And he has to explain what is the benefit uh, for, the, for the plan if uh, are dollars or time that the plan is is a benefit with with every every idea and for the afternoon the engineer have to review all the projects uh, in the production floor uh, they have to see the results around the day uh, the problems uh, what or, or make or some solutions about problem of the implementation of all the projects that we have in the in the plan, and that's 
all. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent, okay. Very, very good. You can go ahead and, and stop sharing, yeah. Okay, excellent. Okay, um, so Suleyma, I just wanted to, um, to tell you um, something I observed. I can see that you do understand um, the correct pronunciation of, and the correct structure, but you kept on going back and forth. For example, when you talked about like, um, you know, the auditor has to blah, blah, blah. And then you would say the auditor have to. So you were going back and forth between the has and the have. Okay, so just make sure that you stick to one and the correct one in this case has to. The auditor has to. Okay. So always, always say has okay. to, third person singular. And I also noticed um, sometimes you were mentioning it correctly, and sometimes you were mentioning it um, as mechanic. And so it's not the mechanic, it's the mechanic. Okay. And um, okay. also, sometimes you mentioned correctly production, but something you were saying production. So just keep in mind, you know, what I would suggest is um, like say it many, many times in your head. So that way you, your, your brain captures it and, 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 you know, automatically you will say it correctly. So you're not going back and forth between one and the other. Okay. But very good. Okay. Very good. Other one. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see who is going to be our next participant Andres oh. Okay teacher Can you see it? Yes we can. Okay. Uh, in my workplace, we have uh, only one schedule, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And I have, in this case, four co-workers. The first one is the accountant. He's in charge of preparing financial statements, payrolls, taxes, budgets, and other documents. Then we have the auxiliary. He is in charge of, he's the cashier, and he gives support to other co-workers when it's required. Then we have the Sorero. He is in charge of preparing payments of vendors. His payroll, IFP payrolls, and other duties. And the last is Wasi. He's preparing documents for projects, making purchases, making contracts, and other duties. Only that teacher. Okay, wonderful. I have a question for you. Um, you, you mentioned, uh, you have some words there in English, but other words in Spanish. Uh, for example, you have tesorero. How uh, do you that in English? Uh, I don't know how. Uh, sinceramente, I didn't. I didn't search the word issue. Okay, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. What about the rest of you guys? Do you know? Treasure, I think so. Tesoro. But tesorero, I don't know. Uh -huh, tesorero. Anybody know? Treasurer. Treasurer. Treasury oh, something like that. That's correct. Treasurer. It comes from the word treasure, right? So treasure means tesoro. And treasurer is tesorero, right? The person that does it. So you just have to add ER to the end of treasure. Okay. Very good. 
Very, very good. Okay, and everybody has the same shift, morning, afternoon shift. Is that correct, Andres? Yes, uh, we have only one schedule. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much. Um, let's, um, let's go to the next, the next presentation will be, Katie. Okay, teacher. Okay. Can I share now? Um, yes, go ahead. Okay. We also have a, an only ship for everybody. Uh, it's the same for everyone from 8.30 to 6 p.m. And some of the scheduled activities for everyone in a branch, for example, for the cashiers, uh, all of us start with the start of, the, of a day meeting, early morning. But cashiers then uh, stock up on cash. Uh, then they receive the clients and process banking operations. They also do sales work. A guide clients and square cash books. I don't know if square cash book is the right term, teacher. Um, no. They find, they, find, they find out if the cash is, is the correct balance. Right. They balance it out. To balance, balance it out. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. And customer service agents, they start also with the start of the day meeting. They enter requests in our systems. For example, um, if a client asks for a statement that's more than six months old, they have to enter a request. Uh, they also enter claims in our system. Uh, for example, when a client uh, finishes to pay, they mortgage and they need to rescue the mortgage. They enter a claim in our system. They follow up requests and claims. They also do sales work and guide clients in other operations. For example, wire transfers or any requests. And sellers, uh, they also start with the start of the day meeting. They, they spend the whole day doing sales work. They wear bases, they visit clients, call clients, and at the end of the day, they send a daily sales report and assistance branch managers. Uh, they also start with the meeting, then serve customers with complaints. They monitor bank account balances, track business goals, answers, and, and send emails, and send daily sales and other reports. Um, I just uh, wrote some of the activities they do, but in real life, they do a lot more, more, more than, than this. A lot of more activities, but these ones are uh, the most common. Okay, very good, excellent, very, very good. I, I did the schedule, but, but, but it's the same for everyone. It's the same. So what, what's the schedule? The schedule is from, from from eight thirty in the morning to six p.m. Okay, so what? Yeah. What are the so what kind of schedules do they have? Uh, they have a. Uh, they don't have shift. It's a only shift for everyone. Okay. All right. There's mm -hmm. only one shift. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Uh, but you but you do have lunch, right? We do have lunch, and we take turns. Oh, okay. Okay. Starting from eleven, from eleven a.m. Okay. To 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Very good, Katie. Okay. So you can go ahead. I need to stop sharing, right? Yeah. Do you know how to stop sharing? Yeah, I, I can see that. Great. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, let me share. Oh. Um, um, me, teacher. 
Oh, hold on, hold on, Warner. We're going to be spinning the 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 wheel to make I'm sure it's fair for everybody. Okay. Okay. All right, to Luis. Hello, teacher. Hello, Here Luis. I am. Yeah, I was looking for you. <laughs> yes, just give me one second, please. I am looking at uh, curious. Uh, can you see my presentation? We can. Right. Okay. Well, uh, in my company, um, we have a lot of areas. I just want to tell you about uh, my area, planning, uh, supply chain uh, uh, department. And in supply chain department, we have three areas, customer service, uh, planning, and warehouse. Uh, all we have uh, the same, Shell um, in, from eight to sorry from eight morning at uh, five and the first uh, the, um, for customer service uh, Andrea Firo is in charge from um, um, receive and um, send information for clients. <clears throat> or other uh, areas of the company. Uh, uh, Nidia Barrientos is in charge of um, purchases order uh, that uh, we send to our supplier and cut off about the um, um, orders and tracking of uh, shipments and something like that. Uh, Jocelyn Lima is in charge of production con production control. Uh, she had to check um, the program of every machines every day uh, for dispatch. Um, Emilio Cotto is in charge to um, check uh, the um, shipments for the uh, all dispatches from to our clients. <clears throat> um, uh, Jaime Carpio is in charge to um, deliver the raw material to every machine uh, of the production floor. Um, Francisco Aviles is uh, the manager, is in charge to lead uh, uh, the team to um, take uh, decisions to give uh, orders and, and something like that. Just that teacher. Okay, so what, what are the shifts that they, they work? Uh, we work from eight to five, from, uh, from eight to five. So the from, morning shift, you do morning shift and afternoon shift? Um, yes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, let's move on. Ivan. Hola. Hello, perdón. Um, I cannot start screen share while the other. Can you, can you start now? Yes. Can you see my screen now? Um, yes, yes, we can see it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, um, 
this is the schedule of the branch of the bank. And at the 8.30 a.m., the security guard opened the, the branch for, um, for the employees to enter or go inside. I don't know how, how is. And, and then the manager opens the board and gives to cashier the, the cash for the, the, the day. Um, the cashier prepares their workstation to be ready to hand customer payments and, and other operations. And, and then the security guard, se llama Juan Correas. And there are three cashiers, uh, but security reasons, I <laughs> name fictitious. I was but, going. I was going to tell you. Wow, you you work with very interesting people. Shakira. <laughs> you work with Shakira with Tom Cruise too. <laughs> there are very expensive of Mar Marvin Pitt. Or, 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 or Ramirez. Or oh Marvin Pitt. Marvin. Marvin Pitt. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, we <laughs> have uh, Tom Cruise. No, the other. Uh -huh. No, another guy. The uh, Mission Imp Impossible. Impossible. <laughs> um, this one's we have, really uh, this one's yeah, really mission possible. Uh -huh, mission okay. possible. Yeah, in our branch, we have very famous. Uh -huh, very people. famous people. Wow. And so lucky. the manager is Andres Calamaro. And the consul service executive, you, we have to Shakira Inez Gomez, Paulina Blondi. And to at the A forty five, the branch manager makes a kickoff with the staff to discuss about the goals of the day and and the other goals the of of sales goals that they have. Um, at the nine o'clock p.m., the security guard opens the the door of the branch to to the customers, and and there are three shifts to lunch to have lunch in, between cashiers and the customer service executive. And um, one shift starts at the 11 of morning, and then after uh, 12 for the half day, in, in the third shift is at the one o'clock. And at the 4.30 p.m., the agency closed the operation and closed the branch to the public and they start to review the operation and how how can I say quadrat balance <laughs> to balance okay and we see if it's all is fine um to the 6 p.m. they can go home, but if no is good with the cash, it's been a long night long. And that is my schedule. Okay, thank you very much, um, Ivan. Okay. Thank you. Wow, um, you you must you must feel so privileged to work with such such amazing people. The address is Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Just um, a few things. Uh, remember, the pronunciation is customer. 
Okay, not customer, but customer. Ca oh. uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Not customer, but customer. And um, it's public, pa, public. Not public, but pa, public. Okay. And I think I think you mentioned. Am I? Am I not? I'm not sure if I'm correct, but I think I heard a mediodía, like, but in English, is that correct? Did you Did you want to mention mediodía? The half day. Okay. Yeah, that's what I wanted to mention. Okay. So mediodía in English is not half day. It's midday. Midday. Ah. Uh... Midday. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can write in the chat if you like. Or can you say noon too, teacher? It's also possible to say noon. Okay, but okay. noon is more like um, like uh, more more like noon is like more la doce, whereas uh, mediodía is midday. Like that's li the literal translation. It's like more okay. midnight, midday, midnight. Oh. Uh huh. Exactly, yeah. So you can keep that in mind. Okay. Okay, I got it. Okay. Yes. All right, let's move on to the next person. Fabiola. Teacher, no idea in my photo. You didn't do it? No. Okay, um, okay, can we leave you for tomorrow? Can you do that one for tomorrow? Do you think you'll, you'll be able to do it? I'm good, thank you. Okay, okay, let's do that then. Um, okay, let's... Um, Carla. Okay, teacher. Okay, uh, you're muted, Carla. And now, everybody hear me and see me? Yes, now. Yes. yes. Hello. I can hear you now. Teacher? Yes, Carla, we can hear you. We can hear you, we can see the this the, the your, your screen you're ready to go whenever you're ready okay in my work there are three shifts called a uh, morning shift a uh, rush hour and night shift for example i share um it's a uh, not um i an example it's a real uh, schedule in my work so and in the shift at the midday, we have we need to have a more productive fluency in the service. In my restaurant, the hours uh, of schedule are very uh, rotating because but the because the priority will always be to have the correct uh, number of employees and uh, at the right time at the right uh, place. For example, on Monday, uh, we have um, a cashier called uh, Damaris. In, in the, in the uh, tables service, we have uh, Griselda. And for example, at the night, a shift, we have uh, Elba, Alexis, Erica, and Ernesto, 
And that's all. Okay, very, very good. All right, um, so it, you said, you, what, what were the four shifts that you mentioned? Can you repeat that, Carla? Teacher, I didn't hear you. You mentioned there were four shifts. What were the four shifts? I didn't hear you. Okay, you I don't know what is happening. Four shifts. Give me a moment, please. Todos me escuchan. Sí o no? Yes, I can hear. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right, maybe Carla's having any problems there. Carla, can you hear me? Yeah, thank you, Ana Claudia. <laughs> in the chat, in the chat, Carla. Carla, please mention okay. the four shifts. Uh, the four shifts are a morning shift, a rush hour, night a shift and afternoon shift rush hour that's what the one i was going to ask you about which one is the rush hour shift i don't know why i can hear anybody okay i leave the meeting and i and i try to in again okay that's fine <laughs> oh, cool. oh my god Hola, Cerric. Is the Marvin tan malo? Lord, forgive him. What did you say, Marvin? Es que cuando uno pasa algo, no lo hay un ser, sticker Rick. de no lo sé, Rick. Parece Creo, falso. Parece falso. <laughs> Qué oh, malo es. Es Marvin. una broma, es una broma. Ay, no, ay, no. Okay, yeah. I'm not familiar with that one. <laughs> of the city, the price of history. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Carla, can you hear us now? Nos escucha, Carla? No. No escucha? Como a ver si tal vez. <risa> Nada. Ah, no, dice. Oh, ok. Pregúntele en el chat qué es el rush hour. <risa> ok, I guess. Okay. Like uh, the movie. No, explica, no te salgas. <laughs> ah, eh, for example, I don't know what is the eh, the way to say um, como hora pico, la hora más alta del mediodía, como la más eh, con más afluencia de, de clientes, algo así le llamamos nosotros pero no sé si es correcto, pero no escucho nada, teacher. intentaré conectarme del teléfono, perdón a todos. ¿Qué would you say ahora pico, teacher? Pico hour, ¿verdad? Pico hour. Pico hour, pero si es común de escuchar rush hour. Yes, no, it's correct. I just, I just want to... Translate is rush hour. Yes. Uh -huh. so, mm. Ah, pero ¿cómo se escribe perfect. así? Rush hour. hour. Separado. Yes. Just like yes. I spelled it. Just the way I spelled it in the chat. Yeah, oh. I just I just wanted Carla to explain it. That's what I want. I wanted I, I never I never hear the rush hour in my life. Is the, the one time. Rush hour refers to the period of time when people are uh, on 
on in the street the most because they're going um, to their job or they're coming from their job, right? Mm -hmm. So there are more cars in the uh, in the street. You know, there's more movements in the street, mm -hmm. and therefore there's a lot of traffic. Mm -hmm. And that's my that's my, shower. my my only say take a shower. <laughs> Asher, no, 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 rush, uh, rush, rush, rush. There is, there is a movie that the name is Rush Hour. Oh yes, it's a, it's a comedy uh, in Spanish. Is una pareja explosiva. Uh, uh, with uh, Jackie Chan. <laughs> yes, the name in English is Rush Hour. Yeah, it's true. Mm. Okay. okay, and that the rush hour can be used also Hello. as she Welcome back. was used. Hello, Carla. Can you hear us? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm really sorry. I don't know what has happened with my. Okay, it's okay. I'm I'm glad you were able to connect some other way. Okay, good. No, uh, we were just we were just uh, wanting you to explain rush hour shift. No, in English, not in Spanish. Ah, it, but I don't know is the correct way to say a rush hour. No, it's correct. I just want you ah. to explain it. Mm -hmm. And that's all. That's all my, inform my information. <laughs> no, no, but explain it in English. Ah, in the, rush hour, the rush hour is at uh, for for restaurant of fast uh, is dedicated to fast food and the rush hour is uh, uh, the midday uh, from mid midday uh, to 2 p.m. and this is the the more important to uh, take the order and the and the fast uh, the customer service and something like that. Right. Okay. Good. Excellent. Um, thank you. Yeah. So um, we were talking about what rush hour in general means, right? Rush hour it normally refers to like the period of time when people are moving to their jobs and coming back. But in the case of restaurants, rush hour refers not to the movement of work, but to the movement of food, right? Like uh, the time when people go to look for food. So that would be more like, um, you know, the breakfast hours, lunch hours, and dinner hours, right? Okay, so it's gonna, it's gonna be a little bit different in the terms of, of uh, food. In the food industry, the rush hour refers to the period of time. So like rush hour in your case, I guess would be something like um, 11 to two in the afternoon. Would that be rush hour? Mm -hmm. From 11 yeah. to two, yeah. And then maybe around from five to seven or eight? Uh, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Yeah. So that those are the hours where people are looking for food, right? So they go and, you know, the, you know, normally like at three o'clock, people do not, not eating so much, right? So the, the, the restaurants tend to have less clients. Mm -hmm. okay. Can I have a question? So rush hour can be used just when it's involved being a movement, for example, people moving from one place to another, cars, etc. Yeah, it depends uh, on the context. Ah, okay, okay. And most of the time, you're going to hear it talking about the movement of cars and people on the street. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, for example, in my case, if I have a back-to-back -back hour, that is not considered a rush hour. Yeah, you can make it a rush hour. Ah, so. Ah, okay. uh, so for example, for me, mm -hmm. for me, rush hour uh, is mostly between um, 8.30 to about um, 12. From 8.30 to 12 is like rush hour. So that's like more like the time of movement of uh, patients and everything, right? So like at seven o'clock when I, when I connect, 
I don't really have very many calls. You know, people are not really calling at seven o'clock in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. And because if you think about it, um, at seven o'clock here, um, mm -hmm. you know, in California, it's six in the morning. Specific, exactly. Right? Specific Perfect time, for example, it's, it's six in the morning. So people are not really going to go to the doctors at six in the morning, right? Um, you know, so not there are not going to be that many calls, right? And even even at um, you know central time, it's still quite early, seven o'clock. Not very much you know movement either. It's mostly Eastern time mm -hmm. that it's like eight o'clock. Then with some people, right? Mm -hmm. So you know that's not going to be a rush hour, right? Okay, okay. does that make oh, sense? Yes, makes sense. Can be used in that way too. Thank you. Okay, good. All right. Okay, um, by vamos a ver how many people have not passed. Um, all right, so I have Juan Francisco, Marvin, Jury, Wendy, Jenny, Warner, Edgar, Luis, and Fabiola. Alguien más que no haya pasado? Ah, I have Manuela, right? Manuel Alejandro. ¿Quién más? Is that it? Okay. But, um, so, todos los que no he mencionado, o ya pasaron? O, sí, me ha dicho, todos los que no he mencionado todavía es porque ya pasaron. Right? Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, because of the time, we don't want to be um, going too much over time because we have other things to do. What we're going to do is we will leave the other students that um, have been presented today, we'll present tomorrow. Sounds good? Okay, teacher. Okay. Could you so, repeat again, please? Yes, of course. Um, so, Juan Francisco, Marvin, Jory, Wendy, Jenny, Warner, Edgar, Luis, Fabiola, and Manuel Alejandro, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, is half the class, it will be presenting tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. Um, is Jenny here? Ah, Jenny, I haven't. Oh, no. But yes, teacher. All right. I guess one, if I also think Francisco Javier, too, hasn't presented. So he will be also presenting tomorrow. Okay. All right, guys. So I think I have everybody here. Okay. So um, before we continue with the rest part, we're going to be taking attendance. Quickly, um, so Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Andres. Present teacher. Edgar. Edgar. Where's Edgar? Oh, he's, um, he's away. Okay. Well, he's not here. <laughs> um, eh, Fabiola? Sorry, Fabiola. I think there's a problem with the headphones, I guess, with maybe the wire. Ahora. Uh huh. Much better. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Fabiola. Uh, Janet? Janet? No? Um, Heidi? Present teacher. Uh, Irene? Irene? Present. Wonderful. Um, I, Ivan? Present teacher. Okay, uh, Josue? Present teacher. Juan Francisco? Present teacher. Uh, Jerry? 
Jerry? No? Okay, Carla? Present teacher. Um, Melissa? Melissa? No? Uh, Luis? Luis? Present teacher. Manuel? Present teacher. All right, Marvin? Present teacher. Wendy? Present teacher. Warner? Present teacher. Yvonne? Present. Eh, Francisco? Francisco? And Jenny? Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, very good. Okay, so let's um, continue with the rest. Um, okay, so we did this part here. Uh, we finished that. Let's take a look here at the conversation that we have between um, Cecilia and Marcos. But before we do that, um, let me discuss, let's discuss these two, these two questions. Who interviews future employees in your company? So think about your company. Who is the person that interviews the potential employees? In my case, it's depending on the position. For example, I interview cashiers and sellers. Oh. Okay, so you you are the one that's in charge of the cashiers and sellers. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Huh, okay. Right. Interesting, okay. Very nice. All right. Um, and what about um, other positions? In my case, uh, uh, human talent uh, is the first interview with the uh, I I forgot the word, pero con los que van a ingresar ellos son la primera conexión que tienen. Okay, okay, so. Um, Human talent, okay. All right, good. What about the others? In my company is recruiting department or, or a human resource. Okay. All right, my, okay. So uh, human resources, okay, good. Anybody else? In my company is the manager uh, after uh, human resource. Okay, all right. First the manager and then human resources? Yeah. That what you said? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay, good. All right, okay, excellent. All right, now, what are five activities that you do in a regular day? Um, Think about right now, five activities. Just right now, I'm gonna give you about a minute to think about five things that you do in a regular day. Finish? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right, let's see. Edgar, tell me five things that you do on a regular day. Sorry, teacher. Uh, what are five activities that you do in a regular day? Um, 
okay? The activities in, 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 my, in my work. Yeah? What are yeah, the activities okay. that you work? Okay. Um, in my um, in my company is a is a one activity is um, a supervisor and in, in, in supervisor um, for 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 this the this distri distribution in the in in the country. So, okay, yeah. so one of your your tasks, one of the activities is to supervise. Yeah. Supervise. What, are you, what, are you, super, what do you supervise? Uh, supervise is uh, uh, the the administ administrate and in in the ¿cómo lo puedo decir? distribuidora. Distributor. Distributor, okay. Administrate in distributor. The distributor. You administrate the distributor. That's what yeah. you do. Yeah. I mean, the meaning and uh, street and for a uh, distributor is a uh, one one activity. Um, two activities. Uh, um. As, um the control, the control, and the 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 bill, the bills, the bills, the bills, um, the bills. Uh, ¿Cómo puedo decirlo, teacher? Uh, controlar todas las el proceso de facturación. Um, the, the billing the, process. The billing process. The, the billing process. The billing process. Okay. So you control. So you, you say, I I control. I control the. I control the the, the the billing process. The bill the billing process, okay. Okay. And um, the the three um, activities um, um, supervise um, supervise the um, the uh, in in invent in the inventory the, the inventory inventory the 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 the, um, the the products for the products yeah the products okay okay good okay good. excellent okay um very good okay um what about warner tell me what you what are five activities you do at a regular day Uh, me teacher. Oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yes, Warner. Okay. Uh, uh, first, organize uh, organize trainers uh, after keep trap offensive war times. Um, after in the gyms, uh, supervise the days, secure it correctly and technical, and finally, I check their. Um, Bitacoras, the work. Their logs. Yes. Logs. The all. Logs. ¿Cómo se dice bitácoras? Lo siento. Sí, espérame. Logs. Te chico, dale. Logs. 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 Okay. Logs. Okay. Okay, teacher. That's it. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, what about, let me see who I haven't heard from, um, Jenny, tell me a little bit, what do you do, Jenny? Okay. Uh, in my case, teacher, uh, the first, I check and answer the email. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, I call and visit in different areas mm -hmm. and meeting uh, with different people okay. and legal opinion uh, and different problems in the company and finish with the do the, the report. Okay, sounds good. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Very, very good. And um, let me see. Andres, tell us a little bit about what you do. Okay, teacher. I, I make reports about my job. I check email. I have to, I have meetings with my boss. I have to make and receive calls to, and how much I, I have for? Sorry? How much I, I tell you. Five. Five, five, five. You okay. need five. Yeah, I'm asking about five. Uh, I have to to make backups or my files too. Very good. Okay. okay. Excellent. Very, very good. Okay, so let's um let's uh look at this uh conversation between Celia and Marcos. Okay, so here's Celia and Marcos. Um Let's uh, have volunteers here. So two people that haven't had the opportunity of reading in the past. Me. Okay. Me. Okay. Um, me. Sorry, who is me? Everybody's like me. me. <laughs> no. <Yo. laughs> who is me? Es que no los, no los puedo ver a todos en una sola It's vez. Marvin Pitt. Oh, Marvin Pitt. Okay. All right. Do, what about, um, is um, Tom Cruise here? Oh. Huh? What? You call me? <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Um, let's see. Somebody, anybody that has not had the opportunity of reading in the past, alguien, alguien que... ¿Te gustaría leer que no ha tenido esa oportunidad en el pasado? Yes, teacher. Other people say me. Who? Before me. <laughs> <laughs> other people said me before me. Okay. Who are the other people? I don't know. Es que no los podía ver a todos. Creo que ahorita ya casi puedo verlos a todos. Okay, so, so who, wants to, who wants to read Celia? Celia, who wants to be Celia? Okay, Carla, Carla can be Celia. And Marcos, who wants to be Marcos? Marcos, Marcos, come on. Alguien que no ha participado en estos, en estos, uh, estas conversaciones. Hey, teacher. Okay, wonderful. Okay, all right, go for it, Manuel. You will be Marcos. Okay. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Very good. Uh, you will finish interview, interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw people in the reception when I came. Yes. I will schedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. And anyway, how, how about you? Just a usual uh, checking that the person is ready and ordering the inventory. Or, or, ordering. The inventory was Janet Jones. Okay, very good, bravo, excellent. Thank you very much, Boyd. Uh, or better said, um, um, well, the two of you, the two of you. Okay, so let's take a look at vocabulary. Uh, you can write in our chat which words you do not understand.
Okay. So far, I have just one word. Any other words? No? That's it? Oh, I have another one. Okay, so far, so I think those are the expressions you've asked about. Yeah. Okay, all right, so let's start with the pretty good. When somebody says pretty good, it's the word pretty in this case, it's like saying very. It's very similar to the word very, okay? Very is like a little bit higher than pretty, but you know, it's like pretty and then very, but it's very similar, okay? So it's pretty good, it's like saying very good, okay? Actually, if you want to be specific, like in Spanish, it would be like saying bastante bien. Pretty good is like saying bastante bien. Okay. Okay. Rescheduled means to schedule again. And to schedule means to program. Like uh, when you go to the doctors, you make a, you schedule a doctor's appointment. And if you cannot make it, let's say you cannot go that day because something happened because you were, um, imagine you can't go to the doctor's office because, um, I don't know, um, you had to work that day and they didn't give you permission at work to go to the doctor. Then you have to reschedule. It means that you have to uh, make a, you may have to make an appointment for another day at another time. Okay. Can you say just the usual? It says, anyway, how about you? Just the usual means like, you know, every, like nothing is, nothing new. Um, you know, it's something that's like everyday activities, okay? Like just when you say, ah, eh, lo mismo de siempre, kind of the idea. So nothing new, nothing special. Teacher? Yeah. Eh, all the time I listen the word anyway, but in this sentence, what does it mean? Anyway, it's, it's, it's an interjection that means kind of like, like, um, well, like changing the subject, like saying, changing the subject. So it says, yes, I, um, I reschedule some of them, uh, them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. So you're talking about rescheduling, you're talking about calls, and now let's change the subject. Change conversation. Yeah, the, okay. the topic of conversation. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, and then personnel. And personnel is talking about the employees. So checking that the personnel is ready means checking that the employees are ready. Like in Spain, same in Spanish, el personal. Okay. All right. So practice with this with me. Good morning, Marcos. Good, mo good morning. Good Marcos. morning, Marcos. 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 Good. Um, how is your day going? How is your how day is going? Your day Pretty good. Pretty, Pretty good. good. Pretty good. Pretty good. I just finished interviewing 
I just, just finished, finished interviewing some, some potential employees. Some, some potential employees. employees. Then I have to talk. Then, then I, I have, have to, to talk, talk to the staff about, to the the staff staff about, 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 about some changes in the schedule. Some, some changes in the schedule. 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 Not schedule. S schedule. No, it's schedule. 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 I saw some people in the reception when I came. When I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. Yes, yes I rescheduled some of them then tomorrow. tomorrow. Reschedule. Reschedule. I need to make some calls. I need, I need to make some calls, calls. In, some in some minutes. In some minutes. Some minutes. Anyways, some minutes. Anyways, 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 how about you? And how, how about, about you? you? Just the usual. How about you? Just the usual. usual. Checking that the personnel is ready. Checking, Checking that, that the, the personnel, personnel is ready. Is ready. Personnel. 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 Not personal. Personnel. 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 And ordering the inventory. And ordering, and ordering the, inventory. the inventory. inventory. I thought ordering the inventory. I thought, I thought ordering the inventory, the inventory, inventory was Janet's job. Was Janet's job. job. Good. Okay. Good. Good. All right. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to get into pairs, and you're going to be answer. Well, first of all, you're going to be um, reading this conversation and answering these questions. Three questions. What kind of job does Marco have? What are some of his responsibilities? How similar are the activities they do with the ones that you do? So discuss these questions with a partner. So right now I'm going to get you to work in pairs. I'm gonna open up the breakout rooms. Warner, are you on two different devices? Yes, each other. Two. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to, so I'm going to, not going to take, remember, read the conversation. First thing, read the conversation. So practice with your partner. Two, answer the questions. These three questions. All right. So it shouldn't take you very long. I'll give you five minutes. Here we go. Jen, uh, Jenny, are you having problems? Jenny? Yes, I see it. So, the okay. first, if you want, if you agree, okay. we can practice the conversation. 
Yes, let's go. Okay. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Very good. I just finished this interview with some potential employees. Then I had to talk to the staff about some changes in the show. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some call in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just a wish of checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. Uh, I saw ordering the inventory was Janice Joe. Hi, Irene. What happened? I can't hear you. I'm, I'm uh, alone. <laughs> yeah, but. Siempre ha estado sola o? No, it's my first. Ahorita me metí, but, uh, but, uh, but anyone is here okay. with me. Ahorita viene su compañera. Okay. Se supone. Okay. Yeah, there she is. Hi. Okay. Jimmy. Hello. Hello, nice, nice, to meet you. nice to meet you. I have a problem with the, the internet. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Uh, I'm, uh, sharing, I'm sharing right now uh, the conversation. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, I see it. Okay, uh, we going to practice. I'm going to be Celia and then switch. Hey, okay. good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to uh, the staff about the activities that Marco, that Marco does are not the same that the activities I do in my, in my workplace because I think Marcos is part of the human resources department. I don't know about you, Fabiola, if the activity for Marco are similar uh, of George activities. Mm, no. Uh, my activities? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> it's different. Yes, yes, I think that. The activities of Marco are not similar to my activities. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. I thought ordering the inventory was trying to do Checking that the person that is ready and not doing the inventory. I don't know who is who is Celia. Or what is the position of Celia? Mm -hmm. Maybe Celia is a secretary. <laughs> no, because he said uh, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. Mm -hmm. And maybe he, she is part of the production area, I think. Maybe for because um, she talks about the, the inventory and the new person. Uh, mm -hmm. What is your department, Fabiola?
it here. Yes. Yeah. Did Okay, all right. Um, so I'm hoping that you guys were able to um, it, to practice the conversation and let's check the answers, okay? Um, so the first question is, what kind of job does Marcos have? Tell me about Marcos' job. Human okay. resource staff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. He works in human resources, right? Yeah. So, and, and it sounds like he's probably from the team, the recruiting team. You understand recruiting? I was about to ask you the pronunciation of that word. Recruiting. Recruiting. Ah, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll write it in the chat. Yes. Recruitment. I, I, <laughs> I listened to the that word in the translator, but I didn't listen very good. <laughs> recruiting, recruitment. I in my company is common use recruitment. Recruitment. Ah, uh -huh. recruitment. Recruiting, something like this. Mm. Recruiting. Recruiting team. And recruitment is the process? No, recruitment. Recruitment. Ah, okay. So it's recruitment. Not recruitment. It's recruit. Recruit. Recruitment. Yes, recruit. Recruitment. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Let's uh, ask the next question, uh, which is, um, what are some of his responsibilities? Interview some potential employees. And talk with the staff about changes in the schedule. Mm -hmm. Good, yes. So we have um, like schedule meetings. And what else does he have to do? Calls the people. Yeah, he has to make calls. Make some calls. Exactly. So, how similar are the activities that um, that they have to the ones that you have? No. Similar, not very similar. What? Nothing at no. all. No. <laughs> no, absolutely. Yeah, in 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 me is uh, um, my case. Uh, um, in my case is is um. Um, of the activities that are similar is a uh, inter interviewing. Uh, yeah. you interview people at that? Yeah. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay. Do you interview people for the whole company or for a specific area? A specific area. Oh, what area? Uh, I mean, um, com commercial uh, administration. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Very good. Anybody else is similar? Any others that are similar to um, to Marco's position? Yes, teacher. In my case, I interview people. I talk to the staff. I make a lot of calls. Mm -hmm. um, I reschedule meeting. Reschedule meetings. Schedule. So you're Marcos. <laughs> Something like that, but in my area. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. So Marcos is the other twin. <laughs> the manual is the life, the Luis. Yes, my story. My history. Okay, wow. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Okay, um, good. Let's um, go back. Okay. Okay, so we did this already. So let's talk about everyday tasks. 
These are some examples. Look at some common tasks a, pers uh, a personnel at a restaurant. How different or how similar are they to yours? Would you say there's, it's similar or different? Meet the head chief, I'm sorry, the head chef to review the week of the menu. Anybody do something like that? Is it similar or different? Carla? No. Uh, I, I don't know if the the idea is the every week uh, the the menu is changed. No, not necessarily. The week okay. the menu is just the, the menu you have for the week. Yep. Can you do something like that? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. What about the next one? Call a marketing company about promotional souvenirs. Anybody does something similar to that? Calling a marketing company about promotional souvenirs? Not a chance. No. No, nobody at all? No. No? Okay. Order the inventory. How many people do order the inventory? Me. Yes, me too. That? Okay. Yeah, me too. Who else? Me too. So Ivan does that. Who else? Me too. Me too. Jerry and Marvin. What's, what else? Me too. Me. Me. Luis, wow. Fabiola too. My goodness, me. lots of people. Okay, so you can relate to that one, okay? How many people talk to the staff, uh, sorry, the staff about changes in the schedule? Me teacher. Me teacher. Marvin and Carla. Who else? Nobody else has meetings to talk about that? No? Okay. Uh, what about interview potential employees? I think many people have many talked about that. So we have Edgar, who else? Me teacher. Okay, Heidi. Potential offensive me teacher. You as well, Warner, okay. okay. What about check the weekly schedule? Anybody does that? Me teacher. Me. Me. Martin, Warner, Luis, Ivan. Yes teacher, me. Okay, wow, okay, lots of people. So many of you can relate to this one, uh, to all of them, except I think this one, right? Call a marketing company about pro promotional souvenirs. Do you call um, a marketing company about other promotional something? Do you call them now? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Do you do, Fabiola? Yes. And me, teacher. You too, as well, Edgar, okay, wow. Okay, so lots of things you can you can relate to. So here is some of the vocabulary that you can use, so you know, for the future. Okay, now what I'm gonna ask you to do is the following. You're going to write the tasks you do at your workplace, work in pairs in the breakout room the teacher assigns you, ask a classmate about tasks he or she does in the workplace, and compare your tasks, then you're gonna report your ideas to the class, okay? So I want you to tell your classmate, your, your classmate about the tasks that you do at your workplace. And you're gonna compare with your other classmates. Do you do things that are similar? Okay, so you're gonna be in groups of three and you're gonna find out if you have similar or different tasks, okay? So let's open up the breakout rooms. Okay. Um, okay. Um, only five minutes, guys. So here we go.
Jenny, are you having any problems? We do and then compare. Okay. So teacher, we are going to write the tasks we do, right? And then compare. Right. What are the tasks okay. that you do and compare the tasks with your classmates? But no writing because of the time. Okay. Speaking. Okay. Start, Juan Francisco. Okay. My activity uh, check the, the data taking. Um, um, uh, the, the, but what do you say? Other other thing is the same that my work. Mm. Make phone calls. No. No. O other other one. Mm. Maybe you... legal legal opinion may that mean that you are lawyer no. or something like that. Yes. Yes, yes, I am lawyer, but it is it, different. But I need to ah, I I I do report. Is the same, oh. Andres? Okay. okay. Uh, yes, three return. Three. Okay. Report what? I I do report. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, in my case, I'm going to say. Uh, because because uh. The, the the that company uh, get to uh, some stickers uh, uh, how can I say with reports and other uh, things that we need for example posters uh, that we need to uh, to put in the product and production for and, and something like that for events, but it's not a, a marketing company. It's similar. In, in, in my case, I, I don't make phone calls to a market company because there are an, an specific area to to make this course is in the marketing department. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you have a marketing department, right? Yes, that's right. Okay. And you, Carla? Um, make sure everyone in the branch is providing the best customer service send daily sales report. And sometimes I interview potential new employees. And we are ready. It's interesting, interesting for the business, huh? Mm -hmm. Balance. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yes. Um, the other question. Which is the other question? I, I don't know. I, I see the, the manuals. It's just comparing. All you're doing is comparing to see if uh, the tasks that you do are similar or different. Mm -hmm. 
Our activities are very different from the other. Very different. Yeah, very different teachers. In my case, is Spork in the in the Juan Francisco is uh, the. <laughs> so definitely, you say that it's different. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, the handy business. Wow. Very good, man. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see you guys in the main room. Okay. Like covering the classes, the classes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, very good. Did you find that you and your partner had similar activities? Yes. Yes, teacher. We, we, we work in the same company with Josue. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that I've was funny. Similar activities. Made the same. I'm sorry, you <laughs> didn't notice that you, you were in the same group. Okay. <laughs> but you do different activities, right? Or you do the exact in a, No, difference. Really different. In a regular days, Marvin and I do the same activities. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so nothing new. Okay, bueno. For next time. Okay. All right, guys. Um, last thing I'm going to do is show you your homework. Write a five line paragraph about the task your boss or a colleague does in your workplace. Thinking about uh, uh, one of your colleagues or your boss. Okay. Probably, try maybe your boss because um, you know you probably have talked about many of your colleagues already, but you probably haven't talked about your boss very much. So something new. Okay. And then you're gonna share with the class that will be for tomorrow. But don't forget that we still have presentations from the people that didn't present today. So the people that didn't present today will present tomorrow. Okay. So let me just take attendance very quickly. Marvin are ready to pass. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Well, we'll hear Marvin a second time then. How about that? <laughs> okay. A second opportunity. Okay. Volunteers. <laughs> okay, Ana Claudia. Present teacher. Wonderful. And uh, Andres. Present teacher. Edgar. Present teacher. Janet. Fabiola. Present teacher. Katie. Present teacher. Irene. Present teacher. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Present teacher. Juan Francisco. Okay, I think he's there. I think I heard him. Okay. Jury. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. Okay, Lilia. Eh, sorry, Melissa. Luis. Present teacher. Uh, Manuel. Present teacher. Marvin. Present teacher. Wendy. Present teacher. Uh, Werner. Present teacher. Present. Uh, great. Yvonne. Present. Francisco Javier. 
And Jenny. Jenny? Present teacher. Wonderful. Okay, guys, so that is going to be all for today. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget, uh, you're going to be presenting uh, the homework. Okay, so don't forget to do the homework. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And today, I think it's Ana Claudia. Are you yes. ready? Yes, of course. Okay, all right, great. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye, good night. Okay. Bye. Remember, Bye. Marvin, Marvin, good night, Marvin. 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 Good night, teacher. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Yes, Werner, stay with us. <laughs> Werner. What happened to your glasses? Glass the the spork. It's a uh, oh, flexi, okay. flexi, only flexi. Yes, yes. It is your your glasses. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um. A good pair of glasses. Which video? In which video? No, me. <laughs> oh no! I, I thought you were okay. The glass of me, bro. <laughs> the... Oh. Okay. Thank you, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you I know. Tomorrow. See you next. Week. No, no. Tomorrow no. is uh, is. Tomorrow. Tomorrow no is Saturday. Is is is. No, uh, tomorrow is Friday. Friday. Okay. Friday. <laughs> no My problem. My God, when is? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> see you tomorrow. See you, see you, Anna. Bye. 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 Yes, also stay connected. Oh, I see Warner right now. I didn't. Are you didn't see him? No, no. Okay, okay. Um. Mm. All right. So tell me, Anakoli, how can I help you? Well, I'm understanding very well. Just need, I think that I need to practice more. Uh, I feel like a big responsibility because I am learning the good pronunciation of some word. And now I like, uh, no, I, I got responsibilities on that. Uh, I just have, let me check if I have some doubts in. Mm -mm. I don't remember yesterday I was looking at some some of the topics. No, mostly it was with the uh, adverse of, of, of time, no, adverse of frequency. But yesterday a Werner was sharing with me uh, additionally the, the video from the class. And I think we'll cover. No, the most I need to reinforce is the, the pronunciation way, but I, I'm going to be asking during everyday class. Uh, for the rest, I understand very well the uh, uh, structure. I don't think that we have, I have any doubt. Mm -mm. Whenever I have a doubt, I ask you. Yes, I do know that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, and for me, it's all clear, teacher. How about the, the platform? How are you doing with the platform? Very well. Did you find me this time? <laughs> yes, yes. No, we're, we're fine. We're fine. No worries. Exactly. Um, I'm, I'm making it on a daily basis. And also, I'm about to complete the mid, uh, mid test. That is the way how? Mid yes. test? Oh, OK. Yeah, no. And I'm about to complete the mid test. I'm just missing part number four, I guess. The midterm it's, Mid midterm test. Ah, okay, midterm test. Okay, I'm about to complete it, and also I'm about I, I'm making my daily basis homework. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have any I issue. With that. that okay, so yeah, you're doing pretty good um, there with the, the second homework. So you, I think you just need, um, I guess, one more class, right? Because I can I can see that you're missing a few a few points, so I'm guessing it's because of one homework. 
from the. But is the number ten that the one for today? Number nine and number ten, I guess. I I, I imagine. Yes. And, and everything is clear, so I don't have any any problem on that. No, no, I don't okay, have any. Problem. I see that you you almost finished the midterm. Yes, and just missing one part because I'm trying to complete it as long as we work with the platform and we are uh, receiving the classes, uh, I understand better how to fulfill it. Yes, no, I, don't, I don't have any issue to complete it. Okay, to complete it. I don't have any issue. Maybe I will be just asking during the class for pronunciation. That is only my, my or when I have doubts, I always ask. But for the rest, I'm okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Anything okay. else I can help you with? No, no, teacher. No, I say because I, yes, it's, uh, we take, can take advantage of the 10 minutes, but I was, yesterday I had some tasks with the adversarial frequency, but with the uh, information that Werner sent about the uh, lesson in the level two they saw, complete the whole thing. No, I don't have any issue right now. Okay. I want to thank you for all what you share with us. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad to be able to share as much as I can. You know, okay. I think knowledge um, is always important to share because you multiply, you know, like it's not, you know, when you share knowledge, it's not that you lose, you actually gain. Exactly. No, you know what I learn every day. I share my experience with my uh, co-workers, and also I invite them to to take this uh, type of classes. It's not easy because they are two hours a day. But uh, for example, when I mentioned the uh, correct pronunciation for should, could, they are ah, what? And all the mistakes we make and. I am feeling that the way how I'm practicing uh, nowadays opens me additional doors because the customers feel, I think, that they think and feel they are talking with a professional because I feel that I, I'm a, a, a making improvements in my pronunciation. I made a lot of improvements. Oh, yeah. I can, yes. Uh, you just don't imagine because I need to create Google Meet presentation and also I need to present the product to the customer. And I feel the difference nowadays because uh, I now I create like an structure what I'm going to, to tell to the customer how I'm going to handle. And also I'm using uh, the correct pronunciation for the words that you teach us on a daily basis. Sure. Like two words, for example, two words for me is, was words. like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I had been using the grand pronunciation for that word. Oh, okay. A lot okay. of words. Yeah, but you know what? Uh, don't feel too, too bad, Anna, mm -hmm. because you know what? I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. Even native English speakers sometimes mm -hmm. mispronounce words. Ah, okay, okay. okay? Um, because... And it's and they mispronounce it not because they don't know, but it's because of maybe the region that they are from. Uh -huh. it's, it's like a, something cultural mm -hmm. that they just say it a certain way, but it's incorrect. Mm -hmm. and, and that happens here too in El, in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. you know, there are people that mispronounce words, but because they're used to pronouncing like that because that's how they hear it from the people around them. Exactly. Right. But it's not, it's not correct. So the mm -hmm. same thing happens, uh, you know, even with people from the United States and uh, mm -hmm. because they hear it from the people around them, they think that's how it's, that it's correct to say it like that, mm -hmm. but it's not, it's not proper English. So, but I'm feeling that I'm growing, believe me, because I feel the difference how I handle the conversation. Uh, if we're talking about four months ago and how I handle the conversation now is totally different. And I, I felt the difference because I'm uh, closing more cells because I'm uh, straight. I use the correct words and I'm always thinking about this correct thing structure to use and yeah. believe it or not that helped me a lot and i'm sure that you're also more assertive mm -hmm, exactly 
Montessori. That is correct. <laughs> so thank you, teacher, for all of that. You're welcome, Ana Claudia. Anything else I can help you with? No. Or... Have a wonderful rest of the day, teacher. Okay. Thank you very much for all your help. You are more than welcome to share with me suggestions, okay? I am. Okay. Don't worry, teacher. Thank right. you very much for your time. Bye-bye now. You're welcome. Take care. Have a good night. Bye-bye. The same bye -bye. to you.